Alrighty, and we are now back. We found Simon. Simon's ready to talk. You vandal, you. Why, why, you know, why did you break into my house? I mean, look, I don't have much here. Uh, just, 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 just take what you want and leave. All right, just, just leave. Hello. He wants us to leave. What we want to do is say thank you for the goodies you've given us lately. Oh, good. Okay. Um, I've got some good chicken recipes if you need them. Well, well, about that. Yeah, taught happened. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm sort of torn between wanting to know and actually dreading the answer. But please go on. Oh, you can have the others, my dear. Well, from what we gather, taught plus a creeper plus our room equals lack of chests. Ooh, okay. A large, oh, a large amount of inventory has been destroyed thanks to Tort. Uh, well, in which case, I'll, I'll, I'll deliver another four or five hundred overnight, if you like. Yeah. Uh, no. Quite, <laughs> quite, quite <laughs> happy to help. Although I am intrigued. How did you get so many? Oh, with patience. And after a little while, all I needed to do was run around in circles, pick up the eggs and start throwing them again. Ooh, interesting tactic. <laughs> <laughs> it it was the night that uh, Chris had uh, his his adventures, so uh, I was staying up late hoping to hear something about it. So I thought, what shall I do? Oh yes, what was it? Mod said about me again. Hmm. I can't remember what it was now. The words have you know miraculously been forgotten by me. Oh jolly good. But Murti has something she'd like to say. Go on. I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to have a nasty cough there. No, I would like to say thank you, and I accept your offer of the sword well, and thank, apology. Okay. Right. Well, I'm, I'm glad you. I'm glad you you accept. I mean, I was felt really guilty seeing about the wear and tear on your sword after that. So <laughs> it's good to hear. What are your plans anyway? While you're on the, the tuxedo service, sir. Well. I just want to build, collaborate with people, and have fun. Okay. You know, um, I, I do a lot of stuff. As you know, I have my own Minecraft world, and I do some uh, solo stuff. And yeah. By the way, that's a free sample. Oh, uh, thank you. Very yeah. kind. <laughs> um, I found him on the roof. I have no idea how he got on the roof, but he got on the roof. Well, it's safe to say you don't need to blame us. Otherwise, I'd have, we'd have done it properly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on that note, Tort needs yeah. a present from us. Yes, uh, I've got um, several stacks of gunpowder, if that'll help. Ooh, uh, tempting, but no. <laughs> now, what we're going to do is we're going to put yeah. chickens above his house and below his house, and it'll irritate the crap out of him. Yeah. So you'll think he's killed the ball, and what, there's more? Although what we could do is the classic called ticker. It sounds like yes. a woodpecker. Yes, yes, I was just about to suggest that one, actually. You just hide it somewhere. Yeah, just far enough away that you, you, it's not easy to dig for. I shouldn't be giving you ideas. I might have wanted to use that one myself. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, shall we leave you be, Simon? Okay. All right. oh, Wait, um, come, why don't you come back when I've actually furnished, and then you can have a proper look around. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I am going to get you back, by the way. Well played, uh, sir. Well played. Uh, First prank on a server. Well played. I'd expect nothing less. Yes. Come along, Lady Murtai. I'm no lady. <laughs> Bye. She said it, not me. Well, hello everyone, and uh, a slightly belated welcome back here to... Warlock there doing his uh, David Attenborough impersonation. And there we see two villagers approaching each other through the village square. Will they meet... Will they fight? Will they just stand there facing each other, going, Oh, possibly the latter. Anyway, welcome back. Um, yes, you have seen a quick construction of my fishing spot. I got bored the other day fishing. I needed some name tags. And um, also an excerpt from uh, Mod's um, episode on, uh, recently where he and I uh, had a little chat. Uh, well, he, I, and Murtai had a little chat. So, um, in the remaining time, I would like to get a bit of this house decorated while I have a chance, but uh, first thing first, these guys. Okay, um, been talking to a few people, getting some opinions on... Um, just one sec, you need mood, 
music. I uh, R E C O M. I don't know how to spell recommend. Uh, Barry White. Um, yes, these guys. Okay, um, I've been talking to a few people. who have got some really, really good suggestions for names, and I've come up with uh, the, the two I decided I like. And I've made some name tags after doing loads and loads and loads of fishing, and then finally giving up and buying them off of mod. It's just been, it's just been that sort of week, to be totally honest with you. Oh yeah, but right. Okay, so. I give you Gerald Gallus Gullen and Farfetched. Gerald Gallus Gullen and Farfetched the Chickens. Um, Gerald was the name suggested by Tort. Thank you, Tort. Gallus he also suggested, which is uh, the Latin name for chicken, which are Gallus Gallus and Gullen because that's pretty much what they're called on my server so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set these guys free they are free now to wander the house and if they get out they get out but uh, the village is in the enclosure as well so I doubt if they're gonna whoa and they're off yeah I doubt if they're gonna get far so uh, we'll be seeing these guys around the village from time to time uh, so Gerald Gallus Gullen leader of the mighty chicken army and his uh, able lieutenant far-fetched and we'll see where they end up. But uh, now I'd actually like to do uh, a bit of redecorating. So, uh, um, just to see if we can just get some stuff in order. Since the last episode, we've opened up the nether. Um, my recording was not that much fun, so I decided not to show it. But uh, as a benefit from that, we've got a coffee maker to add to the kitchen. Uh, a nice brewing stand there. And uh, we will be making much use of that. And... Uh, what I'd like to do is I would like to um, I think actually we're going to work up here today I want to get this area a little bit more um, done so the first thing I want to do is I want to get a lot of storage in place and what I'm thinking of doing is putting storage crates here here and here and I've started there but uh, in order to finish this job off I mean first of all I'm going to need a load of chests and secondly, I'm going to want um, some trapped chests. So let's go and get ourselves some wood and I'll cut back in when that is done. Right, here we are. I've just gone and done unpleasant things to our tree farm and got plenty of wood now. So I would like... Uh, 27 chests I think will do it so that's 16 24 that's 25 26 27 excellent right, let's get as many of those up as we can this anvil is going to have to come out. So we're going to do lots and lots of storage. Just a reminder, you can't put um, chests next to each other because they come double chests and you can't put a chest between single chests because it doesn't know which one to make a double chest. And I want lots and lots of single chests so that will be the way I do it Oops. like that, like that, and like that okay that leaves us 3, 6, 9, 12 yep that's uh, good and now what I need to do is make myself a load of um, trip wires. So we're going to need some of that. And what on earth do you need for trip wires? The cobble stuff? Really should look these up before I do it, surely, shouldn't I? So let's have a quick look here. Like that. Like that. And like 
that. It's not cobblestone. Is it wood? It's wood. Okay, so I think that each one of that makes two, so four, six, eight, ten, twelve, that's what I want. And add the chest back to there, and that gives me twelve trap chests and three left over. Always find a use for chests. And trap chests, because they can't make double chests, will fit nicely in the gaps. So that gives me a bit more resource room. And a bit like uh, my other server, I'm going to put stuff in categories here. So what I'm thinking here is I will look at organic materials, say here, and um, stone. Uh, and uh, Well, actually, I'll probably put stone here and metals and uh, alchemic equipment here. And well, the, the, I don't know how the design is going to do. I've, I've got a lot of space here to do stuff with. Hello, Gerald. Where's Farfetch? Actually, I haven't seen Farfetch in a while. Did he wander off upstairs? Uh, let's just have a quick look. Right. Well, perhaps they changed places. Yes, they did. There's Farfetch'd, and yeah, I will never be short of eggs again. I'm actually thinking about it. I think I found a use for those remaining chests. Yes, let's put them in here. So we'll put one in there, one in there, one in there, and later on I'll probably make another chapped one and uh, just put it in the middle there. And they can be our alchemical ingredients and things like that. And do you know what? Now I'm looking at it like that. I don't like that. They're going out. No. Not having that. Not having that at all. Um, in fact, we're just going to leave it like that. I'll just put those three chests away and we'll use them later on. So there's at least some of my storage stuff with those chests away and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the the house around these chests now so the crafting bench will move over to the edge and um, we'll put the anvil back in fact let's put the anvil back now so the anvil can live let's say here yep let's put it here so the anvil can live there and we'll have some furnaces to go with the anvil let's say we put them here in fact let's do that so one two three furnaces for basic smelting and I think what we'll do is actually what we'll do is we'll put the magic here so the crafting the, the magic uh, table can go here we'll build the bookshelves around it here and that will look nice we've got the uh, anvil there this workbench let's pick that up and we'll put that there for now so we're getting our work area divided up quite neatly and the rest once we've got the working stuff in we will just work around this I think and uh, add stuff to it as we want to so that's that uh, that's my basic crafting and storage setup now what I want to do is go and get myself the wherewithal to make an enchanting table and uh, I also want to make a lot of bookshelves so I think I'll do that between episodes and, and you guys can see me make it um, let's do a little bit more redecoration shall we I recall seeing some wooden steps in here earlier and they will help let's have a quick look through what we've got oh I have an idea okay so we'll grab some of those and Fairly certain. Uh, yep, there we go. Spruce leaves. I want some of that. 
and I want that bone meal. One bit I want to do to start off with quickly is before I get into decorating down here, I want to come back to the this part of the uh, the house and just make it neater. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay claim to a bit of, a bit of this space here, and we'll make a garden here. But the first thing I want to do is actually make uh, a little bit of a decorative area here. I also want to put some lights in place, so I'm going to do that by making some. Uh, well, let's make just the one for now. Let's make a jack o' lantern. And. Ah, oh, there they are. Uh, and what we're going to do is basically we're just going to make some invisible lighting under a fence here. So we'll put the jack o' lantern at the bottom there, and then put the spruce leaves above it. And then we have a nice little two layer garden fence there. And because that uh, the leaves are transparent, still have some nice light coming up from that jack o' lantern, but it's not so openly obvious. And perhaps we can get rid of some of these torches for that. What's it still look like here? Yeah, the light is reasonable there. Nothing's going to spawn. What about now? Yeah, I think we're good. But actually, just to be on the safe side. Let's do another one, shall we? So, one more jack-o'-lantern. And we'll do the same deal here. So we'll put the jack-o'-lantern there and we'll put some leaves. In fact, you know what? I think we can actually make a little... Let's actually, let's put it here. I'll put a little privet hedge there against the side of the building. And the light is good. And here in the middle, what I think we're going to do is we are going to bone mill this area. A little bit too many pieces of grass there. Let's just want plants. Getting yeah, plenty of seeds. Oh, there we go. That looks a bit better. So, this long grass like that, and one more. No, I think we're probably actually going to have to be a little bit more organised about this. Let's see, Let's see what uh, plants we can get. Let's pick these up for now. Or <laughs> not as the case may be. I suppose that's one way of doing it, isn't it? These plants have a little bit of an odd hitbox by the looks of it. Okay, so we'll put some earth back there. And give it another try. Wow, we don't want they don't want to give us plants today, does it? Okay, I'm gonna to have to give up and go plant hunting. I'll be back in a sec. You know, it's funny how sometimes the simplest sounding tasks, go get some flowers, will often become one of the hardest ones. And uh, yeah, just getting a few flowers is taking me quite a major expedition, but I found a few different types now. So let's go and uh, make something. Let's take that one down and put it up again. Cause it, that one looks half inside the building. That's not any better. I do it from a different angle. No, that one is determined to be inside the building. Never mind. All right. Um, that 
that and bed of flowers at the front. Hmm, it doesn't look very neat. It doesn't look too unpleasant either. It's just a little splash of colour there. A little bit of order. Right, and I just have a couple of minutes, so before I go, let's go and organise this area a touch. Let's see if we can get some crops growing here. Let's just get this uh, earth down. Be missing all my diamond tools right now, to be honest with you. Uh, let's get some earth on the bar. Looks like gone a little too far. Fill that in. Let's clear this untidy area away. This rather large untidy area seems to be mostly rock. Right, I think what we'll do is we'll get this down. Get the rock out from underneath it. And I will come back in just a sec when this is all done. Right, that's that area a little bit more neatly laid out. Need to do something here. We'll do that before we finished and I've laid out the plots not like I normally do but I thought what I'd do is I'd actually make them look a bit more you know, the other plots look a bit more like they do in the villages normally so that's what I'm doing here I'm laying out trenches rather than um, just single spots of water and laying out around that slightly different from the way I do things but no harm for that there we go there's some water there uh, oh, actually, let's fill that up while we're here. And let's start getting some spaces plot. Um, ready to be farmed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook carrots. That cook. I'm going to plant a mixture of carrots and potatoes here. I think so. We'll have potatoes down here. Let's just go and get some from the little farm up here. I think there's some up here. Oh, that was all wheat. There's probably some more down here. And we also desperately need to eat something I've just noticed. So let's take uh, some potatoes. Replant here like that. Pick up the potatoes we missed on the way through, and we'll do the same here for carrots. And people seem to have a nasty habit of jumping on these, which is never good because it kills that particular plant. So we'll do the same here. Have have paws, stomach have paws. We shall eat soon. Okay, we got some basic crops here. Let's put those down like that. Yeah, that's it starting off. I'll grow something else. I'll grow something different in the middle, I think. I'm not entirely certain what yet. Probably put a, um, a, a line of corn in or something like that just to break it up. But there we go. There's, our, there's our, a little bit of a veggie garden there. And we've got a, a few plants here to lighten things up. We've done some work upstairs. By the time you come back to the next episode next week, this will all be planted and I'll show you what it looks like just finally. Let's sort that out. Um, what I'm thinking of doing here is yeah, let's get some cobblestone stairs. And if we put one like that, one like that, 
one might. Uh, that looks nice and neat, I think. Yeah. And just tidy this up a tiny bit. Mm. I'll put a window in there for the next episode. So there we go, guys. A little bit more work in here. A bit more silliness. I think that's going to be how this area turns out. I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Minecraft Arcadia Server. Thank you and good night.